Algebra 18.2b, we've been talking about the substitution method, and now I'm going to show you how to do it with word problems. We can solve many word problems by changing the information into a system of equations, and then using problem solving techniques. So we've talked about these before. We want to understand the problem. We have to think, what are they trying to find? We develop and carry out a plan. How are we going to find the solution we need? What can we do to find it? And we find the answer and we check it. Does the solution make sense? Is our math correct? Did we make a mistake with our operation signs? So if we have the sum of a number and twice another number is 13, the first number is 4 larger than the second number, we make two equations from this information. We make a system of two equations from this information and we use substitution to solve it. So what we're going to do is let the first number be x and the second number be y. And that's going to help us. So the sum of a number and twice another number is 13. So the first number is going to be x. So the sum, that means we're going to use a plus sign of a number, that's going to be x. And twice another number, so that's going to be 2 times y. And it's going to equal 13. So now we've got our first equation. Now we can use the information from the second sentence to make our second equation. The first number, x, is equals 4 larger than the second number. Now it doesn't say 4 times larger, it just says 4 larger. So we're just going to add y plus 4. It's 4 larger than the second number. Now we have our two equations. We have our system of two equations. We put this together and we've got x plus 2y equals 13, and x equals y plus 4. Now, this y plus 4 can be substituted for x in this equation. So instead of writing this x here, we write y plus 4. So now we've got y plus 4 plus 2y equals 13. We can combine like terms, can't we? So we've got 3y plus 4. 3y plus 4 equals 13. Now, to isolate the y to one side, the first thing we need to do is use additive inverses to create a zero pair. And we eliminate this, and we get 13 minus 4 is 9, so we have 3y equals 9. Now we divide each side of the equal sign by this 3, the coefficient for y, and identity property. This turns into our friend, the invisible 1. So we got y is equal to 3, because 9 divided by 3 is 3. See? Now we can use this to solve the second equation because now we know that y equals 3. So here's our second equation, y equals, uh, x equals y plus 4. So now we know x equals 3 plus 4. Well, x is 7. So our solution is x is 7, y is 3. We check it real quick. We plug it into these equations. This one and this one are original equations to see if it's true. And 7 plus 3 times 2 is 13. Yeah. That works. 7 plus 6 is 13. And 7 equals 3 plus 4. Yes, that's true. So it worked. See? So we took the words and slowly figured out what is the x and what is the y. And then we put it together to make two equations. Let's try it one more time with a little bit tougher one. I'm going to let the first number be x and the second number be y. It says the sum of two numbers is 82. One number is 12 more than the other number. Find the larger number. So the sum of two numbers, so we know x and y are going to be added together, is going to equal 82. So that's our first equation. We've got x plus y equals 82 as our first equation. The second one says one number, that's the first number, x, is equals 12 more than. So it's not 12 times more, it's just 12 more. So we have 12 plus y. So x equals 12 plus y. See? So we can substitute this 12 plus y or y plus 12 in place of x in this equation. So we've got y plus 12 plus y. Well, that gives us 2y plus 12 when we combine like terms, doesn't it? And then to isolate y to one side to find out what y is equal to, we could subtract 12 from each side to eliminate this 12. And now we get 2y equals 70. I'm going to divide both sides by this coefficient 2. We get our buddy, the invisible 1, identity property. 
So we have one y is equal to 35. Now we can use this to solve our second equation, y equals 35. So we had x equals 12 plus y. So x equals 12 plus 35, so x is equal to 47. The larger number is 47. 35 plus 47 is 82. Yes, it works. So remember to combine like terms, okay? So when we're here, you want to combine like terms, and we can substitute an equation for a variable. So we're going to substitute this equation right here, these two terms, for our variable x. Just plug the numbers in to see if they fit, okay? So just go very slowly and make sure that you're paying attention if it says times or just more than. Because more than is going to be a plus, and if it says 12 times more than, then it's going to be 12y, okay? So be careful about that. Our next video, 8.3a, we're going to continue talking about systems of equations, and we're going to talk about the addition method for solving them. If you want to go back to watch about how we did the proof of slope m, or identifying solutions, or solutions by graphing, or substituting for a variable. That's what this one was all about. That was our previous video, 8.2a. And I'm going to put a link for the Grade 8 Math Systems of Equations playlist, because that covers all of this too. So all of these links are going to be in the description of this video to help you out, so you can just click on them, okay? All right. Keep up the good work. I'm proud of you. I think you can do this. And I'll see you next video. Bye.